A new way to wake up. Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. All right, here's what you need to know today. So the Oakland Athletics, it seemed like they might be out of our grasp. It seemed like, you know, Oakland's getting the rack together. Maybe we're not going to get the team. Mm-hmm. Don't count us out yet. Phil, Phil Ruffin, uh, uh, he owns the TI. He owns Circus Circus. Uh-huh. Owns a whole bunch of stuff. He is flying to Oakland today to have a little meeting with the Athletics. What's up for offer? Well, according to the RJ, it is the Las Vegas Festival Grounds right across the street from the Sahara at Sahara and uh the Strip. So I I think people get that title confused with the Festival Grounds, obviously, on the south side of the Strip. No, totally different. And that corner, I mean, like, they don't do a lot with that land. Right. There's occasionally some concerts there, but otherwise, it's just sitting there looking pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So is he on that part? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. So, yeah. Interesting. Well, know. yeah, who knows? Fingers crossed, I guess. I just feel like it's been such a back and forth. But also... We're definitely if, being used as a pawn. It, yeah. and But remember when uh, with the Raiders, it was like, are we going to get him? Are we not? And then it was going back and forth for so long. And then all of a sudden, it's like, okay, we're getting him. Start yeah. digging. Let's go. So but We also gave them three quarters of a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. That helps. Yeah. I don't sure. think we're doing that with this yeah. one, but we'll see. Uh, Oakland City Council returning from a break later this month, and who knows, they're working on a deal over there, too. Uh, we didn't talk about this story on the show because, frankly, it was really dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a guy that was attacked in Summerlin, 80-year-old man, attacked in Summerlin, being chased by a younger guy yeah. with a weapon, tried to fire the weapon. It wouldn't fire. Multiple the, times. I mean, it was the videos. Some, oh, some of the scariest video I've ever mm-hmm. seen. Mm-hmm. They have supposedly caught that suspect. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Armando Dangerfield busted in Mesa, Arizona, facing a ton of counts being held in Arizona at the moment. Uh, yeah. Cheyenne in the 215 is where that took place in the Summerlin area there. And just whew, that video was a heartbreaker. Yeah, Thank goodness. Well, thank gosh she's okay. Yeah. Everything's um, all right. And uh, I guess he'd done the same thing in uh, Arizona. Wow. Yeah. Well. Good. Glad they got him. Yep, for sure. Uh, and then finally, okay, this breaks my heart because I was a little league kid. Love baseball. Mm-hmm. Summerlin South Juniors All-Star team back in 2020, they were doing really good. They mm-hmm. were on their way potentially to Williamsport to play the Little League World Series. And then COVID stupid 19 mm-hmm. gets in the way mm-hmm. and they were unable to go all the way. Yeah. Well, kids age out. That stinks. Right. But they decided, you know what? It's 2022. Let's get the gang back together. Yeah. That's what they've done. They've been competing in the juniors now in a junior league. Uh-huh. Doing really well. Just winning constantly. And they are now headed to Bend, Oregon for the West Regionals. Wow. Potentially going to the World Series oh in gosh. Michigan. Oh my gosh. That's is fantastic. so awesome. They did not give up on their dream. They do need help, though. They expect if they end up making it all the way to Michigan, it's going to cost the whole team about forty grand to wow. pull this off. Yeah. They have a GoFundMe right now. Ten thousand dollars is their ask. They're I think at forty five hundred or so. Okay. You can go to one zero two seven VGS dot com. We have the link right there, and uh, you can make a donation. And let's get these guys there and finally getting a chance. Because imagine, yeah, you only get one shot at that. If you want to text baseball to seven zero two five nine seven one zero two seven, we'll kick you back the link so you can see that. Do you know, or so you can donate there? Do you know uh, the same thing happened to Jaden when so twenty twenty, um, he played uh, flag football for the this league that was at Gorman yeah. and uh, every year since he was five years old and um, he never won a championship this year we were un- 2020 we were undefeated oh. Jaden had so many touchdowns on the season we uh, won the first round of playoffs this the the championship game was canceled and we they never made it up never made it up how crazy is that okay he, can we get baby, that going I know I know he is Football is his, like, passion, and he's never, ever, ever won a trophy or anything, and that was the year and the championship game. So they didn't they didn't they hand just, a trophy to anyone that year? Nobody. It just, and they never they made said, it up. They never made it up. Isn't that devastating? And honestly, Jaden's over it. Patrick's over it. I'm not, I'm over, not it. over it. I'm not over <laughs> it at all. I have no skin in this game at all. <laughs> I, who is this, Gorman? It was, well, yeah, it's called Next Level Sports. Next Level. Yeah. <laughs> we Make this them. happen. I don't care if they're grown men at this point. <laughs> If it's a kid's lead, you just let him go. I know. It's so bad. It's so heartbreaking. That stinks. Oh, man. I don't want participation trophies. No. I want him playing for the championship. I'm telling you. And that was that's why I loved the league. You don't get participation trophies. You yes. just don't do it. So I was they like. They blame 
us. They blame us for participation <laughs> trophies. <laughs> our generation is blamed for participation trophies. I know, trophies. that crazy? We're not the ones. No, it's It was not our us. parents. <laughs> our parents were like, I paid $200 to get in this league. Give them a trophy. Right. That's what it was. <laughs> our parents getting all uppity. It's not our fault. Gosh. <laughs>